Good morning there. I apologize for my appearance. I just got out of bed and I need to come out and check on my chickens and my trap. Uh, last night I was successfully able to get the chickens to stay in the coop and I know the rooster's okay because I heard him. The only reason they stayed in there is because I cut down their tree. Remember that tree that they kept going up and then they would walk up that and go up there? I couldn't get them to go in the coop after I made the repairs of the hardware cloth so I cut this down and I made sure I kept it pretty long because I might be able to use that for something. So let's go up and make sure everything's okay up here. Every time I come up here to let them out, I have this sense of dread come over me, thinking I'm gonna find one inside there. It's traumatizing. So what I think I'm gonna do is just open this up and hopefully they all walk out. Oh, I hear somebody jump down. Chicky, chicky, chickies. Hey, Roosty, I knew you were okay. Oh boy. Where's everybody else? I hear somebody in there. Oh god. I don't like this. Yes. You guys are okay. What are you doing? I guess my, my plan worked at least for one night with the hardware cloth and the exterior stone. Looks good. Now the important thing, let's go out and see if we trapped anything. Oh, trap set. Nothing. What the heck? What's going on here? That, that was supposed to be on top of that. I had it set properly last night. Something is outsmarting me. Hmm, nothing inside there. Got, got my sardine though, little jerk. I'm getting a little bold here. I decided that I was going to put the trap right on the back of the coop because if the mink or weasels sneak around the outside, it would walk right through there. And I think that was a pretty good setup. You can see how I have those stones there. So I think that's pretty good. And I thought, you know, it might sneak right around here and then go inside and clearly something came, but it wasn't, uh, wasn't dumb enough to get trapped. Uh, this should have been over there like that. And then once that's trap nothing can come out but when it's open like that i have a feeling that it just came right out i don't know how that could have possibly happened i'm starting to learn that this mink's a little bit smarter than what i thought every night i set this up and i try a different strategy and uh something always goes wrong either i've set it up uh, outside the fence here and the whole trap's just been moved like 10 feet i don't know what did that so i thought keep it inside the fence that way only small things could potentially get through the fence and uh that's what happens so every night i set that and every night it's something different and I never seem to have anything. The only thing that I've caught so far is a squirrel, which, uh, which I let go. So uh, at least my trap is working. It's just not catching something that I initially wanted to catch. On the positive note, got a beautiful sunrise coming up here through these dead wood and brambles and the chickies are all coming out for a day of free ranging. What do you guys think about that amazing perch? How many chickens do you think I could fit on there? Relief to come out here and find all my chickens okay. I, I was a little scared about them being in the tree, so they're no longer going to be in that anymore. And hopefully everything goes okay in the coop and they can live prosperously in there. And I catch that mink one of these nights. It's going to slip up and I'm going to catch it. And you're going to be the first person to know.